so great to be with you again. I hope everybody is safe and well. Today's story is called Breathe With Me, and it was written by Miriam Gates, and it was illustrated by Sarah Jane Hinder. And it's a rhyming book about different breathing styles that we can use when we're in difficult situations. You know, we all get in difficult situations from time to time. Sometimes we're tired, sometimes we're scared, sometimes we get embarrassed, and sometimes we get angry. And we know that breathing helps us get into a better place. So I'm going to read the story, and then later we're going to practice doing these um, breathing movements together. Okay? I hope you enjoy it. Your breath can be short and quick, like the drum line in a marching band. Your breath can be long and slow, like waves rolling onto the sand. And you can see her hair looks like waves, doesn't it? And look at her calm, her calm face. Her, she's so, she looks so peaceful. You will breathe 25,000 times today, and that is healthy for you. But do you know what else your breath can do? One deep breath in and one long breath out can make you feel better too. Yes, it can. And you can look, not, not just is she calm, but look who else is calm. Bunny's calm too. You must be taking breaths with her. If you are tired in the morning and it's hard to get out of bed, use rainbow breath to get your body moving and wake up that sleepy head. So when we are tired in the morning and we don't want to get out of bed, we're going to practice our breathing. And here's the rainbow breath, and we will do this later together, okay? Let's think of another time we need breathing. When you go somewhere you've never been and you aren't sure what to do, you can use dandelion breath to feel more comfortable trying something new. So you can see the little girl, she's kind of shy, she's going to a birthday party and she maybe doesn't know everybody. And this has happened to all of us. Sometimes we go somewhere and we don't know anybody and it's kind of hard to feel comfortable. But taking those dandelion breaths helps her. So we will practice doing dandelion breaths together at the end. When something makes you mad or even feels unfair, try counting breath and you'll feel calmer there. Now you know this happens to us too. We get angry sometimes. Maybe somebody makes fun of us or they, or maybe we don't know how to do something that everybody else knows how to do and we get frustrated. So taking some counting breaths helps us get back to our calm place. And these are counting breaths. And we'll practice those at the end too. Sometimes you may be sad and feel like crying too. A gentle belly breath can help when you are feeling blue. So even you can see she's, it looks like she's missing mommy. Mommy might be going off to work and sometimes that happens with us, right? We, we're, we're with a babysitter or we're with someone that we'd rather be with mom and so it's also helpful to do some of those belly breaths because that's going to help her get back to her calm place and you can see her lying on her back doing belly breaths at night when it's hard to fall asleep because your mind is busy and your body feels tight Try balloon breath to get relaxed and ready for a good night. So again, sometimes, I know this has been happening to me a lot lately, it's hard to go to sleep when it's time to go to bed. And so taking deep breaths, and she used her balloon breaths to help her get back into a restful, sleepy place. And here are her balloon breaths. 
Your breath is always here for you in a calm and quiet way. Kind of always here with you. You use it to help you choose how you want to feel in each moment of your day. With one deep breath in and one long brief breath out, you are on your way. So isn't it wonderful, boys and girls, that no matter where we are, no matter um, if we're home or at school or at the park or at a party, we can always depend on our breath and breathing to help us get back to a calmer place. Okay, let's go back and we're gonna practice some of these breaths together. And the first one was the rainbow breath. Remember the rainbow breath. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit crisscross and we're gonna hold our palms out like this. And we're gonna take a deep breath in. a rainbow. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Hold it. And deep breath out. Okay, that's a rainbow breath. And then we talked about the dandelion breath. Remember, she was at the party and she didn't know anybody. So a dandelion breath is like our star breathing. So we're going to pretend there's a dandelion, those little flowers that have all the, the little wispy white parts to it. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And then we're going to blow. And watch all those dandelions blow all around. You take a deep breath through our nose. And blow out. And all those dandelions are blowing around. Okay, counting breaths. That was when the little girl, if you remember, she couldn't do the problem. She was in class and she got frustrated. So sometimes counting breaths are very helpful. So we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to count to three. And I'll hold out my fingers like this. Take a deep breath through your nose. And let it out. Let's do it again. Let it out. Good job, you got this. And when we sometimes feel like crying, remember when the little girl's mommy was leaving, she did belly breaths. So what we want you to do right now is find a space and put your hands, you can lie down if you'd like, you wanna find some space where you can lie down. If not, you can just sit there with your hands on your belly and we're gonna take a deep breath in. And you can feel All right, hands on your belly, breathe in. And then breathe out. Well, that was awesome. And then remember at night, sometimes it's hard to fall asleep when we're not tired. But taking those deep breaths and doing those balloon breaths, and we know how to do those because we do them all the time. So let's take some balloon breaths. Ready? Take a deep breath and pop it. Good job. Let's do it again one more time. Deep breaths. And we know by taking those deep breaths in and blowing out slowly, that is increasing the oxygen into our brain and it really does help us to relax. I hope you've enjoyed today's story, boys and girls. Have a great day. Until next time, bye now.